Welcome to day 2 of the 21 days prayer breakthrough with subtle breakthroughs. Today we will be praying for the church leaders, the pastors. We will claim God's word from the book of Isaiah 45:17. But Israel shall be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed or disgraced forever and ever. Let us pray. Our Father, Your words have always reminded us of your greatness and have given us the confidence that when we come to you in faith, you will listen to us. We have known that though we were once alienated from you, you have called us and have embraced us. You have grafted us into your covenant with Abraham, giving us all the covenant promises and privileges that you promised Israel. And so today we bring you your words for you said, Lift up your eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Indeed, he who watch over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Yes, Lord, we need your help once again. We need your help to deliver us from all the hardships of life that we are now suffering. Today we come to you specially to pray for the pastors of this nation. You know better than we do what sort of life our pastors and their families are now in. Our knowledge of their hardships and trials in life is limited to what we hear and see. But you see them, Lord, you can hear their sighing and their prayers. So we pray that you please reach out to them and comfort them. Please deliver them from whatever circumstances they need deliverance from. For those who are sick, we pray for your healing touch. For those who are in need, we pray for your provision for their needs. For those who are needing comfort and encouragement, Lord, please strengthen their minds or send over people to refresh them. Please deliver these pastors permanently from these unwanted circumstances because you have set them apart for your purpose and glory. We know that you won't let your people be put to shame because you are their God. And we know also that you listen to our prayers because you promised. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So God, please protect these pastors from disgrace in any form. They are your chosen leaders to bring your gospel to the entirety of this nation. They are your chosen ones to stand on the gap of this nation. They are your leaders, people you have chosen to bring the words to the weak, to the weary, to the lost, the wounded, and to those who lost hope. But they can only give what they received from you. They can only testify things that you have accomplished and have shown them. So we pray for them and their families. Lord, please bless them to be strong, to be confident, to be unwavering in their faith, to be firm in your righteousness, and to be faithful in your love. And we also pray for you to please save them from the foolishness of this world and bless them with your wisdom in their study of your word, in their teaching, in their meditation, in their devotion and preaching. God, please meet them there and open up the truth from your word to them. Yes, they've been privileged to be called and be set apart for your purpose. But we also know that with that privilege comes the heavy responsibility of tending your flocks regardless of the time and hour of the day. It is a lonely path that only the chosen can take. So the least we can do is support them in all our prayers. With you working in our pastors' lives as they labor for your purpose for this nation, we have faith that our nation can find hope and peace in the times of crisis. With that, we thank you that you gave us the chance to pray for our pastors today. We pray in faith through the name of Jesus. Amen.